Have you ever wondered why the rich seem to keep getting richer while many of us are stuck, living paycheck to paycheck just trying to pay our bills? Well, in this video, we're diving into the secrets of the wealthy and uncovering the seven proven assets that can help you not only build wealth, but also secure your financial future. Before we get started, I wanted to remind you to like and subscribe to our channel for more personal finance and investing content. And if you're new, leave a comment below letting us know that you subscribed. You see, the way the poor and middle class save money is by putting it all in a bank, while the wealthy? Oh, they're investing in assets. Now, what are assets, you ask? These are the magical things that generate income for you with minimal or no effort on your part. However, in some cases, a lot of effort. But, oh, is it worth it? Sounds pretty sweet, right? So folks, without further ado, let's talk about the seven assets that will help you build wealth and grow your money. Real estate. Real estate is often considered the golden ticket to wealth. However, have you ever wondered why? Well, that's because there's quite a lot you can do with this asset. First off, we've got the classic move called flipping. Imagine snagging a property at a steal lower than its market value. Now you can go all HGTV on it, either renovating the place or just giving it a little glow up. Fast forward a bit and bam, you sell it for a sweet profit. It's like turning trash into treasure. However, the thing you need to keep in mind is that you will have to work on it no matter what. And the less people you hire to work on your property, the more money you'll end up making. So if you're in it fully and you're ready to put in the hard work, then flipping real estate could be a great way for you to make some money. But you know, you might not have the time to do all of this. Well, in this case, you could buy something and just wait for it to appreciate over time. Owning property comes with its perks. First up, there's OPM, other people's money, oh. And if you want to learn more about OPM and how it works, check out this video from our channel. We'll leave a link to it in the description below. OPM is a secret weapon to create wealth using borrowed funds. With real estate, you can get a loan faster than you can say, property portfolio. Even if banks are playing hard to get with other investments, they're usually more than happy to jump on the real estate bandwagon. Next, let's talk about appreciation. Hold on to that property and watch its price go up over the years. Your net worth? Boom, it's on the rise. Owning property also means you get tax benefits. The government, in its infinite wisdom, assumes every property has a lifespan of 60 years. So, if you're the proud owner of rental properties, cue the tax deductions. Imagine having three properties, a $600,000 building, a $900,000 building, and a $500,000 plot of land. The government sees a sweet 60-year lifespan for those buildings and hands you some tax breaks. The more real estate, the merrier the tax benefits. It's like a tax party the wealthy get to enjoy while the rest of us are stuck in the tax-paying line. And here comes the grand finale, long-term cash flow. With real estate, you can set up a rental income stream that just keeps flowing. Some landlords even charge more rent than their loan amount pocketing that extra cash and getting tax advantages. Plus, as the property value climbs, so does your net worth. It's like a financial win-win-win-win situation. Once the property is paid off, you can sell it and retire, or you can just keep getting paid rent and leave the property for your children. So there you have it, the real estate game, where wealth building dreams come true. Now the next thing on the list is another great way to grow your money. Stocks. Stocks are like a backstage pass to the business world, where you get a piece of the action and can rake in some cash, especially through those sweet things called dividends. Dividends are like the gift that keeps on giving. They roll in over time without needing a massive chunk of change to get started. There's a difference between playing the stock game with individual stocks and going all in with mutual funds. Individual stocks are like picking your favorite player in the industry and buying a share of their game. It's a bit like dipping your toes into the business waters and testing things out. On the flip side, mutual funds are like the all-you-can-eat buffet of stocks. You're spreading your money across different companies, reducing the risk. Sure, it's less risky, but individual stocks? Well, they can be the high-risk, high-reward thrill ride. If you're eyeing stocks, especially for that income boost, you might want to check out the rock stars known as dividend aristocrats. These are the big shots in the S&P 500. Think of them as the A-listers in the business world. What makes them special? 
They're known for showering their investors with consistent increases in dividend payouts. It's like getting a bonus from your investments regularly. But hey, not all heroes pay dividends. Take tech companies, for example. Internet and biotech companies often don't pay out dividends. These companies use their earnings to fuel their growth, keeping things exciting but skipping the dividend party. So, if you're thinking of diving into the stock market, take a moment to get cozy with it. Check out the different companies, and maybe consider joining the Dividend Aristocrats Club for that steady income flow. Once you do get paid your dividend though, the best way to take advantage of it is not by spending it, but by reinvesting it. All right, the next on the list is Venture Capital Investing. And VC investing can be extremely lucrative if it's done right. In simple terms, it's like the VIP section of the investment club, but with a few twists. You get to invest in a business that's just about to start. And if it makes it big, you stand to make millions of dollars. Now, before you start drooling at the profits, let's talk reality. VC investing is not a stroll in the park. You've got to do your homework. Research is your best friend in this. With so many startups taking a shot at glory, you want to make sure you're putting your money where the real potential is. Not every company makes it out of the starting gate, and some might even bite the dust in their first few years. So, a word to the wise, diligence is your best friend. On top of that, once you've thrown your cash into a private company, you can't just waltz in and grab it back whenever you feel like it. Nope, there's a time frame, the lockup period. It's like a commitment. This period can stretch from a chill six months to a whopping 10 years, depending on the company. So, as you dip your toes into the VC pool, make sure you're ready for the waiting game and think about how it might play out in your financial playbook. In a nutshell, private equity investing is like joining a thrilling startup roller coaster. Potential profits? Absolutely. But it comes with its share of twists and turns. So buckle up, do your research, and be ready for a bit of a waiting game. It's the backstage pass to the investment world, and who knows, you might just find yourself amid the next big success story. Next on the list, digital assets. Digital assets are like the modern day superheroes of wealth creation. We're talking cryptocurrencies, blockchain tech, real estate investment trusts, the whole shebang. Investing in these bad boys can be your ticket to building some serious long-term wealth. Create digital courses and products that you can replicate and distribute without breaking a sweat or the bank. It's like Jack Ma's idea of Walmart opening more stores to boost sales, but better. Thanks to enhanced scalability, setting up shop in different locations is a breeze. Time and energy saved. Cha-ching! In a nutshell, digital assets are the tech-savvy path to wealth, and bonds are like the reliable, secure buddy you can always count on. It's the financial world's dynamic duo making wealth building a bit more fun and a lot more secure. All these things aside though, one of the best ways to build wealth is by building a business. Building a good working business is one of the best ways to generate income. It's undoubtedly the main way most rich people have made their money. Investing can help you keep and grow your money. However, with a business, the rate of return is possibly endless given you do all the right things, such as subscribing to this channel to learn more about money. Now, the beauty of building a business is that it's not just about the cash. Although that's a pretty sweet perk, it's also about doing something you're passionate about. You get to call the shots and decide how much time you want to throw into this project. It could start as a side hustle, helping out your regular income, and who knows, it might just take center stage one day. You could go big with franchises, think restaurants or gyms, Sure, they might need some serious time, capital, and hard work, but the payoff can be massive. Or you can keep it personal. Do you have skills in graphic design or copywriting? Why not dip your toes into the freelance world until you've got enough clients to kickstart your very own gig? Starting your own business isn't a sprint. It's more like a marathon. It takes time, effort, and a bit of trial and error. So go on, chase those dreams, and turn that side hustle into something epic. But okay. I get it, not everyone's got the time for something like this. Well, in that case, you could always look into money market accounts. A money market account is something like your regular checking account that also acts as a high interest savings gig. It's like having the best of both worlds. 
You get the convenience of using a debit card for your transactions, and on top of that, your money earns some pretty nifty interest, higher than your average savings account. So, where can you get in on this action? Banks and credit unions are your go-to spots to open up a money market account. Now, the cool thing about these accounts is that they're not stuck in the Stone Age with fixed interest rates. Nope, they're variable, dancing along with the market's whims. Sometimes you'll see more interest, sometimes a bit less. It's like a financial tango. Last but not the least. Royalties. This is the secret sauce for making money from your creative brain power or property. Whether it's books, music, images, artwork, photography, copyrights, or patents, you name it, you can earn royalties from it. Picture yourself as the proud owner of one of these creations. As people come knocking, wanting to use your masterpiece, you start raking in royalties over time. It's like getting a piece of the pie every time someone wants a slice. Thanks for watching this video on seven assets that build wealth and grow your money. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more personal finance and investing related content. In the comments below, let me know if you have any questions. Here's to becoming rich and financially free.